Hello and welcome to Ready Player Me Unreal Engine tutorial. Today you will learn how to install the RPM SDK plugin via the marketplace, how to load the quick start map and how to install RPM SDK manually. As for part 3 of the tutorial, we recommend installing the Ready Player Me plugin via the marketplace since it's the fastest and easiest way to do it. However, if for some reason you need to install Ready Player Me manually, stick around for the later part of the tutorial and I will also show you how to do it manually. Before we begin, verify your Unreal Engine version is 4.27, 5 or higher. Ensure you have the compatible version of Visual Studio or Rider. For Unreal Engine to work properly, you might need to install the following packages from the Visual Studio installer. Desktop development with C++, game development with C++, and .NET desktop development. If using Mac, make sure you're using compatible version of Xcode. You can find what Visual Studio and Xcode versions are compatible with your Unreal Engine version from Unreal Engine release notes. Ok, let's get started. Part 1. How to install the RPM SDK via the Unreal Marketplace. Search for the Ready Player Me plugin in the Unreal Marketplace. Once you have found it, you can just press Open in Launcher. In the Launcher, press Install to Engine. Choose the Unreal Engine version you want to install the RPM plugin to and press Install. You can check that the plugin is installed correctly by going into the Unreal Engine library and pressing Install Plugins. Now you can launch your Unreal Engine. You can choose between Blueprint or C++ project, name your project and then press Create. You can enable the Ready Player Me plugin by going into Edit, Plugins, Install Plugins and after this you need to restart the project. When opening the RPM plugin for the first time, you will be prompted with a setup guide. You need to add your subdomain and app ID from Ready Player Me Studio. I will share a video in the description on how to get them. Press Next and finish your setup. Part 2. Loading the Quick Start Map After you have finished the setup, you can press Load Quick Start Map. In Quick Start Map you can test the movement of the avatar. You can also press Q to open the avatar creator and test it by creating a unique avatar for yourself to move around the map. Now you have Ready Player Me plugin installed in your Unreal Engine project. If you need instructions on how to install RPM SDK manually, stick around. Otherwise, I wish you have a great day. Welcome to the last part of the tutorial. A reminder, if you already installed the Ready Player Me plugin via the marketplace, you don't need to do this again. This part is optional and only for the people who for some reason are unable to download the plugin and install it via the marketplace. Let's create a new project. You can choose between Blueprint and C++ projects. If you are using Unreal Engine version 5.1 onwards, you can create the Blueprint project and it will convert your project to C++ automatically. Now you can just name your project and hit Create. After the project has been opened, you can close it. Go to your Unreal library and choose Show in folder. Create a new folder and name it Plugins. Let's go into our documentation. I've shared a link in the description below. Choose Unreal Engine, Quick Start and download the relevant GLTF Runtime plugin from the GitHub release page. After this, go to the Ready Player Me release page in GitHub and download the source code file. After you have downloaded the files, move them to your plugin folder and unzip them. After unzipping, remove the zip files and rename the unzipped Ready Player Me folder to Ready Player Me and make sure that the GLTF Runtime folder is called GLTF Runtime. Open your project again in Unreal Engine. You might encounter a missing models pop-up. If so, simply click yes and wait for the editor to open with your project. This may take a few minutes and there might not be a separate loading screen. The loading might happen in the background. 
When you integrate the SDK for the first time, you'll be prompted to enter your subdomain and app ID. If you miss adding this for the first time, you can find the menu again from the settings. More instructions on how to create the free developer account and receive your subdomain slash application ID can be found in a video called How to use Ready Player Me Studio. I added a link in the description below. To test the avatar and the avatar creator in Unreal, go to the content drawer. If you can't find the Ready Player Me plugin folder, go to settings and choose show plugin content. In the plugins folder you can find Ready Player Me. Thank you for joining us in the tutorial on how to integrate the Ready Player Me SDK in Unreal. Let us know in the comments what other tutorials you would like us to create and if you have any questions feel free to post them in our Ready Player Me developer forum.